Hello everyone. This is Dr. Twinkle Rajdhan from Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities. Now today I am going to deliberate upon the presence of fluoride in drinking water. Now, as far as the outlines are concerned, we will be dealing with source of fluoride in drinking water, impacts or we can say effects of fluoride on the drinking water and defluoridation methods. Defluoridation methods are the methods for taking out this fluoride from the drinking water. Now coming to the first one, first outline that is what is the source of fluoride in drinking water. The drinking water, we get it from groundwater as well as community water supply. In case of groundwater, this fluoride is leached from the bedrocks. And in case of community water supply, the fluoride is added into the community water supply by the process known as fluoridation. This fluoridation plays an important role in preventing teeth decay among adults of all ages. Now coming to the permissible limit set by BIS, that is Bureau of Indian Standards as well as WHO, that is World Health Organization. The permissible limit set is 1.5 milligram per liter. Now, coming to the effects of fluoride, as we know that the permissible limit set by WHO is 1.5 milligram per liter, but we can say that fluoride up to 1 mg per liter is required for the growth of permanent teeth. But if there is excess of fluoride content, Excess means if it crosses the limit of 1.5 mg per liter. So it will lead to dental fluorosis. What exactly dental fluorosis is? Here you can see that this is the picture of this uh, teeth. And you can see here that it is having this you can see a discoloration of the teeth you will fi uh, find chalky appearance on the teeth here and these you can fi uh, find here uh, we refer it as mottling of teeth mottling of teeth basically is impact on the aesthetic that is appearance of the teeth the teeth appear brown or simply we can say discoloration is there surface irregularities are there. Now, if this fluoride is above 5 mg per liter, then it leads to skeletal fluorosis. What exactly skeletal fluorosis is? It means there is stiffness and pain within the joints, resulting in impairment of muscles or impaired joint mobility. And if there is over ingestion, over ingestion of this fluoride, so it may uh, result in, uh, we can say, uh, it may result in nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, excessive salivation, and increased thirst. Some cases have been reported where uh, it has resulted in muscle spams as scissors also. Now here uh, you can see uh, these sufferers. This is because uh, of the presence of excess of fluoride in their drinking water. You can see in all the three figures. Here in this case you will find there is deformity in the legs. Here you can see deformity in the legs as well as deformity in the, we can say, backbone that is skeletal fluorosis it is mainly bone related here you can see and in this you can see that there is curvature in the spine and this is also a case of this skeletal fluorosis 
So till now we have seen that there are uh, these two cases of this um, uh, impacts that one is dental fluorosis and another one is skeletal fluorosis. Now, what are the methods of taking out this fluoride if it is excess from this uh, drinking water? So these methods are referred as defluoridation methods. And once this fluoride is added in the drinking water, we simply refer this process as fluoridation process. And taking out this fluoride from drinking water, we refer it as defluoridation methods. Now coming to the first one. Here first one, uh, we can say it is reverse osmosis. This is reverse osmosis process by which we can take this fluoride and it has been found that there is the success rate of taking about almost 95% of this fluoride content from the water. Coming to the next one, that is adsorption method by using activated alumina. And this activated alumina, basically it is porous and it has an adsorptive surface and it helps us in removing this fluoride from the drinking water. Now coming to the next process of this defluoridation and it is this distillation. In this distillation process what we will uh, do? In this the water is boiled. Now you can see here it is boiled and after this it is subjected to evaporation and then this after there is condensation that is these vapors then condense and they are simply made to cool down and it is literally uh, converted back into pure but distilled water. And whatever is left, it is now other contaminants and this fluoride in this drinking water. Now coming to the next technique of this removal of fluoride from the drinking water, it is this Nalagonda technique and the Nalagonda technique basically works on this flocculation process. This Nalagonda technique in which there is use of this aluminium sulfate which is a coagulant and it flocculates these fluoride ions present in the drinking water. This Nalagonda technique, why is it named as Nalagonda? Because Nalagonda is a place in Andhra Pradesh and it was worst hit by this um, uh, fluoride contamination in the drinking water and this Nalagonda technique was developed by NIRI that is National Environment Engineering Research Institute in Nagpur. Now what exactly is in this defluoridation method? In this particular Nalagonda technique in this Nalagonda technique, it involves the addition of aluminium salts, lime and bleaching powder. Now here you can see that lime and this alum is mixed. We say it is flash mixing. Then there is the process of this flocculation. After this, it is allowed to keep it for some time for the process of this sedimentation then there is the filtration process and this bleaching powder is simply for the disinfection process and we say that this clean water is simply uh, stored in this container and after that it is supplied from uh, this particular uh, after this particular uh, nalogonda technique here you can see this is the outlet for this clean water and this water is now devoid of this fluoride. So by so many methods, we have seen that this is the defluoridation of this drinking water. Now, these are the references which have been simply uh, referred for making up this presentation possible. Thanking you.